2018 has been a really special year here in Orkney. We've had some great successes, but we thought we'd do something a bit different this time. So here are a few staff members telling you a little bit about what's made their year. So the really key standout project for me of 2018 has got to be Project Natic. That's the world's first underwater data centre built by Microsoft supported with Naval Group and it's installed at the EMIC Billia Crew wave test site. The data centre is big enough that it can hold 5 million movies on it and this is really a record breaking world first and it's fantastic that EMIC was able to make the project happen. A great achievement this year was Core Power, a Swedish wave energy developer. They installed at Emacs scale site, Scapa Flow, uh, and Emac provided a performance assessment on the C3 device. 2018 has been a really exciting year, really seeing the business grow a huge amount. Uh, I was one of the first graduates to come back up to Orkney and come to the place where I grew up and then move my career through the business over 12 years. Uh, so a real big highlight for me is to see all these other young entrepreneurs, graduates coming in and working through EMEC and really growing the company and what we can do. The exciting moment this year was when Magellanes towed up their device from Spain to Orkney in the end of summer. It's a 2 megawatt tidal turbine, so they are now uh, moored in north of Orkney and they are going to deploy very soon on our tidal test site. Orbit and Marine Power have had a very successful year here at EMEC in a 12 month period generating over 3 gigawatt hours of electricity. With the new designs for the Orbit Load 2 device being released and a target deployment date at EMEC of 2020, it's very exciting times for us, Orbit and Marine Power and the renewables industry as a whole. 2018 has been an unbelievable year for hydrogen space. We've seen growth, we've seen EMAC expanding, but above all, we've seen a real flag being placed in the world map. EMAC are leading the way in hydrogen. Wello have had a highly successful year at our grid connected wave test site, Billia Crew. They first uh, were deployed in March 2017 and have been continuously on site for 18 months now. They have also survived 18 metre waves and we look forward to welcoming WEC 2 and WEC 3 as part of the CIFO project in 2019 and 2020. So, a few of the highlights uh, from staff in 2018. Uh, it really has been a remarkable year, as I said earlier. The thing that really has made it so special for me personally is that after 15 years of Emacs operation, we really saw one of our developers delivering the industrial quantities of energy we know are there in the tides. Orbital Marine Power delivered around 7% of Orkney's electricity week after week after week. So around one day a fortnight, these islands were running on tidal energy. That absolutely was the, the cream of the cake for me. But also we saw so many of the visitors who came to see us in, in Orkney understand the way the energy system is fitted together. From the, the wind that's here, the electric cars, the hydrogen we're working on, the tidal energy, all these pieces you can see how they fit together and the work we've been doing so far in energy systems is also receiving support. And none of this would have happened, none of it would have happened had we not seen the solid and enduring support by government to make this new energy system happen. We know it's still going to need more support and we're looking forward to 2019 being the year in which we really see the industry able to take off when support is, is reintroduced. So we're looking forward to the, the next year and if you want to come to Auckland and see what's going on, we'd be delighted to see you.